Though Tony and Carrie's son Diesel's life improved, Tony admits that the child's condition tested the couple's marriage. It definitely tests you as a couple. They say the, who the divorce rate for having an autistic kid is 80%, which is really high. What happens is you blame each other, you blame yourself, you have different of opinions of what you think different organizations for your kid, different therapies, and it just becomes very, very stressful, I think on any couple. Tony faced another challenge during her Vegas run. In April 2008, Tony was diagnosed with a second incident of heart disease and had to be hospitalized. Unfortunately, when I got to Vegas after a year and a half, I got ill. I had my heart illness. Tony had gone to the doctor, she was ill, couldn't figure out what was going on really with her. She would get very tired very easily. They said, you're gonna need a heart transplant. And I was a mess, oh my God, I had to live with that for 24 hours. I was, oh, I do a heart transplant. Tony's heart disease was very scary for all of us, especially for me because um, I'm very, very close to her and we're together all the time. Then they put her into the hospital and everyone rushed in, her brother, um, her sisters, like, coming from Atlanta, coming from Maryland, her dad. It was a scary time, very scary time. Uh, for the family and of course her husband. You just don't meet a family too much closer than the Braxton's. They were there for her and they made sure of that. I think that's what helped get her through because when all this smoke and mirrors is gone, when your family is there and you know that they're there and they're right there no matter what, that's the blessing. And then they came back the next, next day and said you were misdiagnosed. But so it's fortunate that it was only Michael Vasco and Angela. I had 23% blockage, which is a lot. And I'm, but I'm a lot better. Sometimes you think your load is so heavy and it's so much, but it's for you and it's exactly what you need and it's not as bad as you think. Though Tony's health did improve, the effects of the illness ended her Las Vegas engagement. After months of rehabilitation, Tony returned to the spotlight in August 2008 when she joined the cast of the show, Dancing with the Stars. It asked and I said no at first. Like, I can't breathe, how am I gonna dance? And I was sitting at home. I didn't wanna go to work. I didn't wanna sing, I didn't wanna do anything. I was afraid. I was in cardiac rehab in Vegas and I'm in my treadmill thingy and this older lady must have been 70. And she was like, honey, what are you doing in here? You shouldn't be here, how old are you? This is my fourth heart attack. You know, I just came back from someplace in Mexico with my 40 year old boyfriend. You, can, you have to live, you can't let it take you down. And she gave me that boost, like, oh, whoa. If you're Tony Braxton, you have to diversify, you have to say Broadway, yes. Uh, movies, yes. Uh, Vegas, yes. Wait a minute, I can't do American Idol because I'm a huge star, singing star already. I've already done that scene of singing, but there's a show called Dancing with the Stars, I can do that. Because I remember people saying, Tony Braxton had a heart attack, she had a heart attack. I think they kind of would have tossed me to the side. And I, I wanted to do something to show people I'm still here, I'm okay, but more so for myself. If I'm honest, it was more for me. In fall 2009, Braxton released a duet performance with R&B singer Trey Song. The single's called Yesterday. I co-wrote the song. I'm very excited about this project. I'm on my new, with my new family, Atlantic, and I love Atlantic. 2010 Tony Braxton and not being, you know, trying to be in a Beyonce's lane or trying to be in um, Mariah Carey's lane, but Tony just being Tony and being able to connect with the new generation of music. In fall 2009, Braxton announced a separation from her husband of eight years. Marriage is challenging. Recently I've been asking people, is there any truth in the seven year itch? Because it, do, it does get a little weird about seven, eight years. I'm not happy every day. Sometimes my husband gets on my nerves. I'm gonna kill him. Um, some days I tell him, you're gonna be very, very famous because I'm gonna kill you. But you know, it's okay. It's good and it's bad and it's the ugly, but it's life. Whatever is next for Tony Braxton, many believe her unquestionable talent presents enormous opportunities for the future. I think the future holds more records, more performances, you know, more children if she wants to have them, and just hopefully for her, more happiness. Tony Braxton definitely has some longevity in his business. Tony Braxton is one of our most talented 
female artists in the business. I think that Tony will be able to, you know, do music as long as she chooses to, you know, because she's a true artist. She has the real goods. You know, she writes, she sings, you know, she plays music. She's classic, and I think that with, you know, her new music, that she's going to find new fans. Tony Braxton rose from small town preacher's daughter to become a multi-platinum, Grammy Award winning singer, a Broadway star, a headliner on the Las Vegas Strip, a loving mother, one of the most successful entertainers of her generation. She is without a doubt one of today's leading women. Tony Braxton is a star, she's a superstar. So if she didn't sell another record, it doesn't matter is she's already a superstar. She already has enough catalog to go out and work the rest of her life. If she never d works again, she's already in the pantheon of the great R&B, pop, crossover beauties. I feel very fortunate now, being older, where I can appreciate things more. And when I look back on my career, it seems surreal. So I feel very fortunate as one of, one of those artists that, that has longevity, but more so getting a second chance in it. Because sometimes you hit this big peak and then kind of subside. But I feel like it's hills and valleys, it goes up and down, which I'm fine with that, but I, I feel very, very blessed. I know.